Hello and welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. In this kit, we'll be doing bubble stationery, which is super fun. And your kit will come with everything that you need. There is dish soap, food coloring, a little bit of sugar, and a straw. I'd like to start by showing you one of our finished products. This is some stationery that I made. Here's a little note card. And here's the back. Um, you see, I did leave the inside mostly blank. Although up here, some of my, some of my bubbles got on there a little bit, um, but I think that just gives it character. Um, you'll also have an envelope. Um, and I did mine in yellow for my uh, trial. So that's kind of what your finished product may look like. Um, so for today, I do have our blank envelope and our blank note card that we're gonna get started with. Um, at home, you'll want to fill a bowl um, with some water. And honestly, the amount of water, it just depends on the depth of your bowl. My bowl is kind of deep. Um, so I know I have more than a cup of water in there. Then I'm gonna add my ingredients. So I've got my dish soap, sugar, and some food coloring. You can, of course, use the food coloring provided, or um, if you want to um, mix up some magical colors at home with any colors you have at home, of course you can do that too. I do want you to cover your uh, surface um, with towels or something like that. As you can see, um, this can be a very colorful project. You can see my fingers are all kinds of colors and we don't want that to get on your table. The next thing you'll do is you're going to get the straw and you're going to blow bubbles into, um, you're gonna blow into your water so that bubbles are created. You wanna be careful not to drink from this, of course, so you want to blow out instead of sucking in. You also wanna stir up your mixture a little bit with the straw. Um, you may see that bubbles are already starting to form as I'm stirring, so that'll be extra fun when we blow some bubbles. And here we go, I'm blowing some bubbles. I wanna blow till they're kind of at the top of my bowl, just so that I can easily get some of them onto my card here. So I'm just very gently holding my card over my bubbles and you'll see that they start to appear like this. Um, and that's what's gonna um, leave those colorful bubble prints on your um, stationery. So if you want a light, uh, light and frothy bubbly print, um, you can stop there. If you want it to be a deeper color, you can carefully place it just a little bit into your bowl but not in the water because you don't want it to get saturated and then blow some bubbles. And there are some pretty bubbles on there now. We are going to pop those bubbles, which is part of the extra fun of this take home workshop. And then I'm gonna set this off to dry. Um, once that's dry, you'll want to do the other side of your envelope, and then you can start on your note card. So I'm gonna just do the same process here. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, fold my note card flat, um, and then just get the one side of the note card. may notice that I'm making sure I get the edges in there. Um, I accidentally missed this edge, so I'm gonna put that back in my bubbles so I get some bubble formations on there. Make sure I get this side too. Got 
loads of crazy bubbles there. Okay. So now I've got one side of my um, note card finished and now I'm gonna do the next one. Okay. So I'm just carefully gonna take my note card, roll it around the bowl, make sure I get it all covered but also make sure that it's not saturated with water. Okay, then I'm gonna set that over to dry. Um, a helpful tip, once you've got your note cards totally dry, um, because they were a little bit wet, um, they might stick up a little bit, um, like my edges have, have uh, stuck up a little bit. So you could just place those under a book or something heavy to flatten them back out. Um, I was able to do that before filming the video and um, it, it did work pretty nicely. Um, I think I would uh, let it set under there for a little bit longer just so that it would be nice and flat. You can also crease this back out and that way you'll have a nice little note card and you will have your envelope to go with it. And now you're ready to send some fun uh, cards to others. Thanks for joining us here today for our take home workshop.